All right, so this probably isn't the best idea for me to like start recording it's literally a couple hours before I'm going to start doing the tier list, but it is what it is. I wanted to get this recording done, so while I'm streaming, I can actually do some editing. Uh, Murasaki Shikabu. She just got a buff, and I think it it just made her like even better at what she already did. Not only was she already like a sub DPS and she could do like farming herself and do like barely good numbers. Uh, fast forward like all the way to MP damage chart. And yeah, like she was already doing respect respectable numbers in comparison to her competition. And now she just can do even more like Compared to like Anastasia, Shahrazad, and like Sieg, like Sieg's the probably the only one that actually has like more team utility because his MP has defense down. But again, that's kind of only like if you plan like unless you plan on setting up for him, like he MPs and then a single target or another unit follows up. He's not really doing that much supporting. Uh, Murasaki definitely has team utility she can be used in single core multi-core and she can also now be just used as a support uh in a very similar vein to martha except her utility is not tied to the mp so a little easier uh let's get started base attack it's low and for specifically like single core farming little bit of an issue it's not too bad of a thing like the caster modifier makes this worse than it is like on paper especially because she doesn't have attack buffs in her kit um but again she's run with castoria so, so it doesn't matter that much yeah for five stars we like 11.5 and above preferably like 12k Th it, this isn't the worst it's not like bunny toria that's sitting like 9,000 hp it's low, but not too low. It is like not berserker levels low. Like if you're if you bring her to fight like into a fight and has riders, she's probably gonna get crit down like really fast though. Not again if her as long as her skills are up, like probably not too fast. But she she it's she's lucky she's arts because she's running with Castoria. But let's just say that. Starweight Stargen. These are normal caster numbers. MP charge 0.45%. This actually does check out with other four hit arts cards that are kind of around this number. Uh, 0.45, uh, like I think it goes to like 0.5 and as low as like 0.43. So there's nothing too egregious with the hit counts. Honestly, uh, truly they could have made this lower. I could honestly see them have ma making this lower. We've seen with Summer Ibuki, as long as you have a lot of hits on your arts AOE MP, your base gain doesn't matter that much, especially because of Castoria. And these hit counts are good. They're all above average. Extra attack is average, but who cares? Like four hit quick cards, four hit arts. And I, I kind of don't care about the bus card. If I'm being honest, like cool four hits, but I care about these two cards types all right first skill again she was always always able to be used as a sub dps first skill reduces defense by 30 percent. this is what scotty does and then increases party's damage against demonic enemies for three turns power mod he's always had this and demonic for farming is like the, the most common niche like if you have anti-demonic on your MP, you're a farmer. Straight up, you are a farmer. Like, look at all these. Like, the site's not even able to load it. If you like play through the story, like 99 or not 99, but like 90% of all enemies you're gonna fight are demonic. Like, there's a reason all of these servants have anti-demonic. It's because it's common. And again, good amount of servants and 
good amount of assassins and berserkers too like just just for herself alone like this it's not half of them that are on this list but close right uh eight across so eight nine ten twenty four twenty seven yeah like a good third of these uh demonic servants murasaki has class advantage against so good for her she got a damn good niche and like this is long before like it's so funny because half of most of the servants that she got class advantage for came out long after she came out right yeah shuten and yume ren were probably the only ones and yume ren might actually have come before one sec like literally around the same so murasaki has literally actually just gotten better as time's gone on like regardless of the buff the game was balanced like the game balance just passively buffed her as they made new characters and sorry long wind intended but again this is for the party it's not just for herself she has her own anti-demonic stuff but she makes everyone on the party as a sub dps have this attack any of these units if any of these enemies are on the list, you can bring Murasaki. Some of them do have divinity. Ugh. Some of them do have divinity, though. So you might want to bring Martha instead. But again, planning for an MP and having to take away from crits, uh, which means refund if you're lower copies, is a bit of a thing with using Martha. Like, if you do not think you'll have the refund probably gonna want to do a full braid chain that turn if possible that like thinking from a 90 plus plus stand just to put it out there that's 90 plus plus standard or thinking uh or challenge quest second skill steals enemy uh mp for one turn 30 percent battery and 20 percent mp damage for three turns i think this skill is still fine uh it is weak with the mp damage but it is tied to a 30 percent battery and art servants don't need the strictness of get uh mana loading and max out battery like castoria like the way castoria's split battery is it's kind of like you do what you can and you're pretty much good but if you want most effective, you're going to want to be popping this turn one for all your refund needs because MP damage means you get overkill quicker, so you refund better. It does suck that this is only an 80% chance, though, so I can see this getting buffed in the future. All right, third skill. It was this party uh, damage cut a thousand three attacks, three turns. Debuff immunity one time three turns and buff removal resistance one time three turns or challenge quest this shit is amazing this was um, this is amazing these two in combination with each other are just like they're gonna like when you need them it's so helpful and now with this buff she's just better they didn't do anything in the damage cut unfortunate or any of the other effects they just added stuff. Party, uh, power mod against chaotic alignment. Power mod against good alignment. And going back to uh, the demonic servants, I'm pretty sure all of these are chaotic. I'm like 90% sure all of these are chaotic. Oh, no. Bitch is lawful. Bitch is lawful. So, shoot 10. Chaotic evil. Gushan. Lawful. So no. Kichi. Chaotic. Yep. Bitch. Lawful evil. Shaku, Chaotic. And Kashin Koji. Nope. So her power, her buff doesn't just increase her and what she was already doing. It's more she doubles down on being a power mod support. 
these are why these are ridiculously wide range of uh niches like think say shonagon and it's funny because they are good friends good friends um you have like multiple different power mods and like you'd want all of them to like line up to take the most advantage but at the same time unlike say these are three massive massive um niches chaotic is an alignment for servants good another alignment and these are like common stuff and they're it's not chaotic good it's chaotic power mod and good power mod you don't need a chaotic good uh enemy to see anything from this it has like you get more damage if they are chaotic good but you don't need it it's just versatile buffing and again unlike say who is so hyper specific on what it is like her the man attribute uh power mod is the best one she has but the other two especially shadow servants are much much harder to line up this is just generic good buffing that if you have it you're not gonna say no to passive eh, passive skill seven percent arts buff and item construction c debuff success rate i'm out against lancers i mean if all three of these are lawful good so uh, some advantage not so you lawful evil nope and retra nope not you what about banana oni not a key only one yeah so anti-lancer not the best thing for her like i would have I, like obviously she can't, i think she would have gotten anti-archer per se but obviously murasaki came out before her say but depends mana loading is what you should be going for whether it says a sub tps a farmer or a support all of them want mana loading np sick buff blocked for one turn no buffs at all if you're fighting someone that will literally spam buffs like it is in their code if they are not buffed they will pop buffs this fucks with them they will just waste their the whole turn trying to buff and you they can't do it units like jolter that have like one time uh buff block but at like one time it, it's not gonna do much and you can't stack it you can't unfortunately you can't stack one time buff blocks tried it unfortunately you can't do that so these one turn ones and especially because this is aoe if you're fighting casters ca uh or not casters uh assassins they do like to buff up the crit rate a lot they do like to do like do a lot of shit putting buff block on them like you just don't take damage and much like castoria why why would you avoid why would you mitigate taking damage when you could just not take damage other part of the mp super effective against demonic she has a power mod and a super effective uh damage niche against demonic so her damage against them is a lot higher than if she's not fighting demonic like significantly higher so she has yeah so she has like five different things to the point that if everything aligns she's hitting like single target caster like literally wait she literally does more damage than Ilya. oh my god that actually is hilarious um i wouldn't say anything about sanzong though since sanzong can run black rail uh as a buster unit but Murasaki can also run black rail uh so yeah Murasaki with this shit is looking really good because she did not have this before so her peak was this and now she, now her peak is here
as long as you're using Murasaki in her effective niche, you're going to see value. And now her effective niche is a lot wider. Uh, again, going back to this looping chart, uh, even when it's only hitting one of them, this is still good, like AOE damage. Yeah, like literally just one of her niches and she's at oh, i would say at but leonardo but leonardo uh da vinci chan is not a farmer like one of uh murasaki's niches even the lower one like the chaotic or good and she's like ahead of nero and tonalco This was an unexpected buff. I did not think they would double down on making her a better everything. But if you do not have this servant, you might want to consider getting her. She's like, especially like, I don't want to recommend like saying she's obviously not must summon. She's definitely not, but she is still like, this is such a good utility servant all around her. And yeah, uh, at another time when money isn't strapped, I probably would be summoning for her, but money is definitely strapped. And also I have Sieg on, and I, yeah, that's the other thing. We have Sieg, so if you only need a farmer, you can just use Sieg. But Murasaki does way more than just do farming. All right. Yeah, like uh, Sieg doesn't have niches. Murasaki like just stomps Sieg uh, with niches. The only issue with farming though, is this part. You cannot carry defense down, so you'd actually want to be putting this at the end. So it's a good thing that she has super effective on her MP. Otherwise you'd be way more pressured to pop this on turn one. So just keep that in mind. Uh, this is a bit huge jump in damage. If you need it for wave three, save it for wave three. At, with her being a uh, solo core farming or single core farmer. All right. See you guys. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.